Hi, I'm Terry Robinson. I'm the executive editor at SC Media. And today I have with me somebody that I love to talk to when I come to the shows, and that is Sam Curry. He is a CSO at Cyber Reason. Hey, Sam. Hey, Terry. It's good to be here. Good. Glad to have you. Um, so today we're, you know, we, we hear a lot about public-private collaboration. It's something that we've heard at RSA through the course of this uh, week. People are talking about it in so many different ways. Um, it sounds like a great idea. We all know it's necessary, but it's not an easy thing. Yeah, it's not It's not easy at all. So I've been at 24 conferences now, and I don't think I can remember when we didn't talk about it. Uh, I see nothing but goodwill on all sides, and I think we, we can solve the policy issues. I think we can come together, we can build trust, but I'm not seeing enough technical innovation. I'm not seeing enough, you know, actually make things happen in a way that's innovative and exponentially benefits us, rather than just a little bit more and a little bit more. I, I, I believe in incremental improvement rather than delayed perfection, but at some point I want to see some innovation on the technical So you side. have to take a leap. You do, and it's hard to stimulate businesses to do it just for goodwill. We've got to find a way, I think, to take all this goodwill on the policy side and the desire to get all of us collectively together to be stronger and turn it into things that actually work. Uh, more than just mouth, you know, more than just like talking about it and, and, and shaking hands a lot and coming to RSA conference and saying, awesome. We actually have to build stuff. Okay. So what kind of innovation are we talking about? Well, I mean, um, I think that from a purely technical side, uh, I see challenges with things like IoT coming over the hill and digital pollution. I think information sharing, it's, it's funny, there's a hype curve for everything. And I heard people this week going, information, we've done that, information sharing. I'm like, no, we haven't. You know, we still, <laughs> right. we, we, Talk we about still it. <laughs> we're still moving too much data around and getting too much, too little information out of it. No one's thinking about how to do it in a symmetric way or how to create third parties that might been tell us where to connect and when to connect rather than just I share with you and you share with me. We deal with liability from a policy perspective. Let's actually innovate. Authentication. Um, all I see is Gen 2.0 and 3.0, nothing exponential. So another authenticator, another biometric, another behavior metric, but we're not actually getting liability out of people's hands around identity. We're not putting people in charge of their identities and giving them control over them, and it's hard to get there. You have a critical mass of people who have to have you know, artifacts and people who will consume it, and to get there requires investment. And I'm not seeing enough of it. And, and the list goes on. I think there are many, many other things we could be innovating on uh, uh, from a technical perspective, but also cultural. We're still not a diverse industry, and we've got to change that. And here yeah. am I telling you this. Right? <laughs> right. And, and every year we do our women in security <clears throat> uh, uh, issue, and we, we talk about uh, diversity. We talk about diversity throughout the year, but um, yeah, there's a lot of evidence that when you have a diverse uh, workforce, you you get better ideas, you get oh, yeah. more innovation. Selfishly, selfishly, I want that. I mean, if I'm trying to understand the opponent who doesn't have a diversity issue, by the way, then how am I gonna do it with a room full of people who all think the same way? And I don't believe we have a talent gap. For all that we talk about, uh, I, yes, it's hard to fill wrecks. We're creating it ourselves. We are not opening up to people from different backgrounds and different educations and saying, you're all welcome in cyber, and they wanna be in here. I think we need to innovate in that sense, both culturally but also technology, to, from a technological perspective, and say, I'm making this easier for you to understand a cyber challenge and become one of us, instead of saying, I just can't find a unicorn. Also, do you think people are just protective to sort of the status yeah, quo? And they, they, they are, but I, I, I don't know. I mean, I read a lot of the flames going back and forth, and I think some of it's trolling and some of it's genuinely bad spirit. But, but most of us, we want diversity, we just aren't thinking about how we can change what we do and how we do it in order to encourage it. We, we aren't um, hiring in our hiring practice and interviews, we aren't doing it correctly. We aren't designing interfaces for people that don't have the same backgrounds as us. And I think it's fundamentally human versus human conflict. We could solve this problem from a design perspective. Okay, great. Well, I can't disagree with any of that. Um, Sam, I certainly appreciate you being here with us today. It was good to see you again. And uh, thank you all for tuning in. I'm Terry Robinson with SC Media.